I am a beauty freelancer. I'm a multi-hyphenate writer, producer, filmmaker, photographer. Community designer. I'm a writer. I'm a co-founder of uh, Ballet Hermosa Amanecer, a dance company that focuses on traditional Mexican dances. Theater maker. Figure model. Creative entrepreneur. I'm the founder of Million Vision Entertainment. Illustrator and toy designer. I'm a producer production manager. The life of a freelancer. You go where the work takes you. I guess I would kind of describe freelancers as people who don't see themselves in a regular 9 to 5 office job. I was sort of taught that there were these certain ways that we sort of like move through the world and very early on I was like I cannot imagine doing that. I think I love identifying as a freelancer because it gives me flexibility to say that I build my own schedule. It gives me the freedom to say no. We bring a lot of uh, the vibe of freedom and innovation because we're not under the thumb of somebody that's forcing us to think a certain way. Your name is on the work that you do. That's the quality of you. That's your brand. That's your stamp. People don't realize how versatile you have to be to run your own business, which is you and your brand. You are the CEO, CFO. I gave up sleep a while ago. It's 24-7, man. Figuring out how to balance my time with um, my friends or my family. Controlled chaos. When I first started, the struggle was the consistency of work, right? You're first starting out, you're learning how to navigate this space, and I was like, oh my goodness, I'm really nervous about where my next check is coming from. Am I gonna be able to pay my rent this month? I've definitely had my share of issues with people that do not wanna pay on time or want to just cut the losses of all responsibilities of paying for my work. The first piece of paper that has to be in place is the contract. And what's important to me is that you see the value in yourself. You need a contract, boo. Like, what's happening? So. This role here at Freelance for Sub as program director, I've been able to use my skills as a curator. Freelancing is about imagining a future that doesn't exist yet, but the folks who come here already see it in their minds and they're living it. I'm not a corporate person, so I decided to step out and uh, freelancers helped me. The Freelancer Hub was very instrumental in my developmental stage. I was able to get resources that helped me navigate you know, my business and find my way. You can come here and find your point of entry, right? It's everybody here in the same frame of mind. We're all moving. It helped me sort of clock in and, and zone in. There's so many good, like, workshops. A lot of them are free that I have absolutely come to. Know Your Rights workshops monthly, legal workshops, one-on-one -on -one therapy sessions. Coming here is a reinforcement of a support system for people who often feel alone as a freelancer. We, we are the faces, faces, faces of freelance. freelance. We are the faces of freelance. We are the faces of freelance.